Hey guys, Coach P. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Championship Muscle. I recently did a chest workout video showing you what I would do with the machines. Today I'm going to show you how to do those chest exercises using barbells and dumbbells right after this. All right, guys, I am on the barbell bench press. For demonstration purposes, I'm not gonna have any weight on the bar. If you're gonna drop set this, it's real impressive having them big 45 pound plates on it. Very impressive. But it's only impressive to me is if you can do all them 45 pounds for 15 or 20 reps. Otherwise, you're not impressing me. Put a bunch of quarters on there or a bunch of tens and do your drop sets with that weight. Demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna do it with the bar, okay? I lay down on the bench and I slide forward just a little bit. The Olympic bar has marks on them that are smooth in between the knurled part. I put my pinky on that line. When I grab the barbell, I push up, and I center it right over my chin. Now when I come down, my elbows are going to be going straight back parallel. And you're gonna feel the stretch on your pecs when you do this. A lot of power lifters turn the elbows inward. I pull mine backward to get the pec stretch. And then I push forward straight up and I contract the pecs. Nice and slow, nice and smooth. Barbell work is a balancing act. So you want to handle weight that you can control. You don't want to bounce this bar off your chest. Nicely controlled, engage your pecs on every repetition. Just like I'm doing. Nice and controlled. Once you hit that magic number of reps, if you have a spotter, let them pull a plate off each side. Then get right back into it. Do your reps to failure. Have the spotter pull the weight off, stay in it, do your reps to failure. The next exercise I'm gonna do for chest is incline bench press with an Olympic bar. So follow me over here for that one. All right guys, I am at the incline bench press with an Olympic bar. Again, for demonstration purposes, I don't have any weight on it, okay? Like I explained on the flat bench, more always isn't better. Okay, you want to control this weight. So, put a bunch of quarters, put a bunch of tens. Yeah, I know the 45s are impressive. You'll get more out of doing the quarters and the tens when it comes to doing high rep drop sets, okay? What I do with this exercise, when I lay back, I fixate something in the ceiling and I concentrate on what I'm looking at. My hands are again, my pinkies are in that smooth spot by the knurl. I press upward and I bring the bar down to my chin and my elbows are going back, not forward. So I come down, the elbows are backward, they're not like this. They're backward to get that stretch in the upper pecs. And when I come up, I'm pushing with my pecs, pushing and squeezing at the top, just like this. Squeeze it on the way down, push on the way up and squeeze. Get that stretch coming down, push and squeeze and control it. When you've reached that magic number and you're gonna drop set this, have your spotter, if you have one, Slide a plate off each side and get right back into it, do reps to failure. Slide another plate off, get back into it, reps to failure. Okay, next exercise I'm gonna go to are dumbbell flies. So follow me over to the dumbbell rack. All right guys, I'm at my third and final exercise for chest. I'm gonna do dumbbell flies. Dumbbell flies give your chest that stretch all the way across. Similar to the cable presses I did in the previous video. So. I'm using 20 pound dumbbells. Form is everything on this exercise. Do not let this weight get out of control. And if you lower it too fast, you can tear your pecs. 
That's the last thing you want to do. So watch how I do this exercise. I saw with the dumbbells up. They're right above my eyes. I come down, and as I'm coming down, I'm turning the dumbbells outward. Come down, the dumbbells are staying along the eye line of my eyes. I get the stretch I want, and I come up and I squeeze my pecs. I come down, controlling the movement. I come up and I squeeze my pecs. Nice and controlled. On the way down, I'm breathing in. I'm getting the stretch, blowing out as I come to the top with the squeeze. Nice and controlled. In my opinion, it's best not to use heavy weight with this. Use weight that you can control so you can actually feel the pecs engage. When you use weight that's a little too heavy, you're gonna lose that feeling that you want and you're gonna use everything you got to get those dumbbells back to where you started from once you get them in that stretch position. Just like this. And once you hit your magic number, let's say it's 20 reps and you're gonna do drop sets, you would sit up, put the 20s down, grab a set of 15s, lay back down, do another round of dumbbell flies. When you're done with that, you grab a set of 10s. Now, I started with 20s to 15s to 10s as an example. You might be able to start with 30s or 35s. You have to make that decision on what weight that you can handle to get those controlled repetitions. It's all about control and the stretch. You don't want to take these dumbbells and just let them fly back. You're going to rip your pecs apart. You want, and, and also ruin your shoulders. You want to control this movement from start to finish, engaging the muscle on each repetition, okay? That's my basic barbell dumbbell movement for chest. There's a lot of other exercises. Flats, more, you know, inclines, declines. This is what I've done over the years, and this is what my chest has responded to. And, and my body has really, I, I didn't suffer very many injuries from doing these exercises because they're controlled. But as I got older, it's more of a balancing act, and I chose to do more machine work, although I do incorporate barbells and dumbbells every once in a while. So that's my rant for today. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me. My book is on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. Um, 40 years of information I put into that book. It's very funny. And it's kind of like everything you wanted to say in, in the gym, but you never did. You know, I said it. Um, I'm a product rep for Gene Pro Protein. It is by far the best protein supplement I've ever used in 40 years in this business. 99% uh, absorption, it's veteran owned. And the best part is it's sugar-free. So if you're a diabetic, I'm a type two diabetic, sugar-free, it does not affect my blood sugar. My blood sugar stays stable. It also does not bloat me and it doesn't give me any gas after I take it. And it mixes thoroughly in any beverage that you put it in. So I will see you guys in the gym next. Any questions, reach out to me. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you again. Have a great day, peace out.